two, three, fuck it. channel so today I'm doing a what's in my college school bag so obviously I'm going into year 12 on the 9th of September so very soon the time has flown away because I can still remember like being two months away and now I'm literally a couple of days away which is so scary so I thought I'd show you all what's in my school bag because obviously in yesterday's vlog I showed you me getting everything ready for school so I just thought I'd do a what's in my bag kind of for school because I didn't go into much depth of what I'm bringing to school so I'm gonna show you everything in my bag right now so I just wanted to say this bag is ready to go to school for my first day so I will probably more or less be carrying more every day because I don't know what books I'm gonna need I don't know what subjects I'm having that day so I don't have my timetable into the first day so this is just my bog standard bag to go into the first day of school because I have no idea what I'm doing so I've just kind of got something for a little bit of everything so I'm not going to waste much more time and I'm just going to get onto the video so because my bag is quite small I'm not taking binders or anything into school I'm just going to be uh, bringing the sheets that I need home and then putting them into my binder here and then every day taking to school the classwork that I need for that day rather than carrying around like three huge bulky binders if I have every subject every day so this is my school bag it's just from River Island it was £46 but it's really nice so it's just white on the back and then it's got this grey kind of detail with this gold and then the straps are just white and then on the other side they're like this gold kind of colour which is really nice. I really like this colour of gold. And then the straps here are just this gold chain which is really really pretty. And then there's a zip which is also gold which adds to the gold kind of detailing on the front. And then this material here is just a velvet kind of material which is really nice and soft and I really hope this doesn't get damaged in the school year, honestly. <laughs> So now I'm going to get on to what is actually in the bag. So from the top, this is what you see in my bag. There isn't that much in there, but it's everything that I need for the school year while I'm at school anyways. So the first thing I have in my bag is just this water bottle. It's just this pale yellow like plastic one. I want to get more of a better quality one. But for the time being, this one will suffice, I guess. Um, it's a really cute like yellow colour, which is literally my favourite colour. And it's just one of those like flasks almost bottles i don't really know but i want to get one with a straw but i can't find any cute ones anywhere so if you know where any cute what bottles are then let me know and i've just got this in my bag because i want to get more into drinking water so the reason why i've got this is because i used to love drinking lemon water like absolutely love it but now i don't drink it half as much and i know it's really good for your skin and detox and everything so i want to start getting into drinking lemon water again and i don't think this one's going to be big enough but i'll just put some lemon juice in here instead but yeah, so I've got that. And then next to my water bottle in my bag, I just have my pencil case. So this is what it looks like. It's a really cute, like, pale pink one with, like, paint splatters on all around. Then it's just got this gold zip and a rose gold zipper. And then in my pencil case, I just have six mild liner highlighter pens because I'm going to change them every term so that I have, like, a different six every term so that I can have two for each subject and for every topic I can have, like, a different colour combination kind of thing. So I've got them. I then just have these 8-bit crystal pens, which are the 1.6mm ones. These ones are really nice to write with, and I, put, I like writing these, like, titles and just stuff like that. I then just have a rubber because, obviously, you always need because... I'm always going wrong, so I had to get a rubber. <laughs> I then just have two of the Norris pencils because I always like writing in pencil in maths. It just makes my writing a lot more neater. This ruler is just a 30 centimeter one because these always come in handy for whatever subject you wear, and I swear every subject needs a ruler. So then I just have two pens. One is a blue one with a gold design, and then the other one is a mint green one with a rose gold geometric pattern on it, and these are really cute. They're just black inked pens. <laughs> And I really like writing with black ink pens and I found these underneath my desk and I was like, okay, yeah, these are going to be my back to school pens because I bought another pack of pens, which I was going to use, but they're going to be used for at home rather than to take to school. So I've got these two pens to use. I then just have my Pritt stick because I love bringing my own Pritt stick because school's glues are absolutely disgusting. Whether that's just me, I have no idea, but I absolutely hate school's glue. And then I just have this Tipex pen because I'm constantly going wrong. These can get in like the really little things that you really need rather than just the tape or the fluid that you have to do a whole thing with because they're quite bulky. This you can just like like erase basically one one item. So I got that. And then I just have my scissors because my ones that I ordered from Amazon still haven't came. So that's really annoying. So I'm just having to stick with these scissors at the moment. But they're really cool. They're like squishy. I've had these since year seven. So these have lasted me really well. I don't really know why I bought a new pair of scissors because I've had these for so long and they're literally been my lifesaver. But I just thought I'd get a new pair of scissors that kind of fit fit more of my aesthetic this year kind of thing because it's not all just blue and pink. So that's everything in my pencil case for school because I did have a sharpener but I've lost it so I need to go and get a new one. But it's just a little blue one so I'll have to just find that new one. 
So I just have to get another one, but it's okay because it was only a quid, so it wasn't like a huge amount of money. But yeah, so that's what's in my pencil okay? case. And then I just have my purse, which is like the matching one to the bag. It's just this like grey, white and rose goldy kind of goldy kind of one. I don't really know. But yeah, I just brought my purse with me because it has everything I need. Like it has my school ID, it has my bus pass, it has my credit cards in case I go out after school or something. It just has everything I need in here and honestly I wouldn't be alive if I don't carry my purse around with me every day because... There's always something you need it for, so I've got that with me. And then I'm just bringing this Helix math set because obviously I'm taking maths for A-level, so it's just got a compass protector, pencil sharpener, rubber. There's like triangular protractors, which no one ever uses, so I don't even know why they're in here. But it's got them. And I'm missing all the pieces, like I'm missing like bits and bobs from my old one, so I just thought, why not just get a new one? It has come with everything and then chuck all the other ones in the bin that I just have like a rubber of, or like a protractor of, or just a ruler of. Like there's no point in just having little bits all scattered around. So I just got a new one to keep it all looking back. And it's a smaller box than the tinned ones, so it's better for that anyways. I then just have this gold splattered grey velvet bag I am actually using as like my makeup girly bag kind of thing because I was going to use a different one but this one fits way more in with my bag and everything so I just thought I'd get this one in here it's literally all pink which I actually didn't mean to be like I've got a pink deodorant, pink lip balm, pink hand sanitizer, this pink body spray, blotting papers, pads I've got everything pink in here and I don't even know why but yeah, I've got everything in there. I've just got all the necessities that I girl will need really in here. I then just have a lined refill pad because as I said, I'm not bringing binders. I'm just bringing like paper and then I'm just gonna put them in my binders. So I've just got this to write in for the first day before I know what lessons I'm taking every day so that I can bring the right notebook for those lessons. What's up, baby boy? I'm just bringing this so that when I get my timetable, I can bring the right notebooks for the right subject on which day so that I don't need to carry around three notebooks if I don't, if I only have one of those lessons that day. And then just have this clear pocket, which I'm going to be putting like loose sheets in and everything. But currently in here is three mini notebooks because I've got one for each subject. So I've got one for chemistry, maths and then biology. I've divided all my notebooks out into like the colour order of each kind of subject. So maths is kind of like a black and white. Um, chemistry is like a pinky purple and then biology is like a white creamy kind of colour so obviously this was biology that was maths and that was chemistry so I just thought that was good and then I'm just going to be keeping loose sheets in here and then bring in these books every time I need them so each for each subject and they're just going to be for like homework tracking or like grades or just stuff like that that I need and then I've got little extra ones for like practicals for my sciences and just for everything like that so I've got these and then that's it what is in like the main bag and then on and then in the bag they've got these two pockets so one for your phone which I'm going to be probably keeping my phone in here if I don't have a back pocket and then the other one I just have my calculator it's just this Casio one, like the bog standard GCSE one, but I think I do need a different one for A-level, but I'm going to make sure that I do need a different one because it's £25, and if I need it, I'll get it, it's not a stress, but like, I don't really want to be spending £25 on the calculators, I don't need if I've got one for a tenner, do you know what I mean? So, I've got that for the time being. Oscar! I'm really sorry if you can hear Oscar in the background, he's in his bouncer and he's wide awake as anything, so yeah. In the bag, it just has this little zip packet at the back, and in there I just keep my mask, so I keep three in here because... I don't even know why in case I need to wash them or something so so I've just got this black and white one to wear to school this like floral kind of patterned one and then just this baby pink one because I thought it was really cute so obviously these masks aren't just for school they're for like everyday living but I just keep them in my school bag because then I know where they are at all times I should really keep one in my changing bag just in case I go out with my changing bag and not my school bag for Oscar but at the moment they're just living in there. So that's everything in my school bag I hope you enjoyed this video as I said I'm not carrying a lot to with me on the first day of school and obviously all this stuff is gonna get me by like the next year like stationary wise I don't really need to carry anything else to school other than this stuff but by the end of the year I'll probably have random shit in there anyways but that's just how the school year goes um but yeah, that's what's in my bag. As I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do subscribe. These aren't usually my normal types of videos, but obviously it's back to school season. So I wanted to make these videos anyways. So yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you all again in our next video. Bye.